As it has each night for more than half a century, Hollywood's most famous restaurant prepares for business. And Maud Chasen, Hollywood's most famous restaurateur, prepares to greet her customers, or as she calls them, her friends. Oh, hello. How are you? Nice to I'm see you. I'm just fine. Come on in. We're, I am. We're ready for you and waiting for you. Thank you. In the 20s and 30s, Dave Chasen made quite a name for himself on the New York vaudeville circuit, not just for his talent on stage, but also for the incredible chili he'd cook in his dressing room and serve his fellow troopers. Then in 1936, he came to Hollywood to appear in a film starring Betty Grable. He says when he got here, he looked around and all he saw were hungry actors trying to find work. He decided on the spot to change professions. Well, Dave Chasen's restaurant has been serving hungry actors ever since. Mm. Chasen's Southern Pit specialized in chili, barbecue, and simple comfort, a recipe which proved a winner with the Hollywood crowd. Dave's pal, Don Amici, liked it so much, it was the only place he'd take his good friend, Maud. And one night I said to him, listen, isn't there any other place to eat? Uh, he said, don't you like it? Well, I said, I guess it's all right, but I want to see some other places. As it turned out, Maud fell for both the restaurant and its owner. She married Dave in 1942. While they expanded both the menu and the restaurant, Chasen's never lost its original charm. This was a, a warm place to come to. Just everybody would get together and have a good time. It, it was uh, more like going to a friend's house, I might say. And what friends? Maud's office looks more like a Hollywood Hall of Fame. Here's W.C. Fields right there. Look how red his nose and, is. And here's Dave. It was always red and it was always big. Never changed. <laughs> it must have been that big when he was little, I don't know. Speaking of little, this photo is of young Jimmy Stewart. It hangs above his favorite booth. We belong to the same church. <laughs> Every Sunday we look at each other and we hear this one waves to that one and that one waves to that one. He never has changed. He is just, he's just darling. Uh, Bernard, can I pick up that crown rack of land for table 10? Yes. For nearly 40 years, Ronnie Clint has kept a watchful eye on all aspects of restaurant management. In the kitchen, only the finest and freshest ingredients are used to create such Chasen's classics as the hobo steak. And of course, Dave's chili, which Elizabeth Taylor would have sent to her whenever she was on location. Now, isn't it true that sometimes the air freight is more expensive than the chili? Oh, most of the time. It was sometimes the air freight was seven, eight hundred, nine hundred dollars. So a bowl of chili might cost a, a few hundred dollars, but it's worth it. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Stars like dining at Chasen's because privacy is respected here. Of course, there was that time a lady approached Alfred Hitchcock with a question about her son. She said, I took my son to see Psycho, where the girl was stabbed in the shower, and the boy will no longer shower, and he's becoming rather unbearable to live with. Do you have any suggestions? He said, yes, madam, send him to the dry cleaners. <laughs> He was a funny man. He made funny. horrifying movies. Oh, he just was that quick. He was just like that. But he used to say to me, you missed something. You should have been a comedian, too, because you're ahead of me sometimes, and I don't like it. Prankster Maud remembers the time she brought Scotch-loving Jackie Gleason in to see his picture. And everybody walked in. They said, isn't that wonderful? And I said, isn't that great? Would you like a drink? There was the time Bob Hope entered Chasen's on a horse, and Jerry Lewis posed as a waiter and spilled water all over Sam Goldwyn. And then these kind of things went on here. This was a, a place to have fun as well as to eat. Sophisticated yet fun-loving, a place where customers call Peppy the bartender from their car phones, so he'll have their flaming martinis ready when they arrive. That's Chasen's. Although it's been 20 years since Dave Chasen died, Maud says she still feels his presence each night she comes to work at the restaurant that seems more like a home. You say to yourself, how could I be so lucky? Uh, well, I, I look forward, I, can, I don't sleep much. I sleep four hours maybe, five hours, a big deal. 
I, I want to get to work. How do you do? <laughs> I'm glad to see How you. How are you? So nice, nice to see you again. Well, come on in. Thank you. For Classic Hollywood, I'm Peter Jones.